Welcome back to Manuela's Kitchen. Today is Mother's Day. Today we're gonna cook a, an authentic American clam bake. We're gonna do this right here in our garage, okay? So basically what we wanna do first is we wanna have the right equipment. So we'll need a burner, and in this case we're using a 32 quart uh, stock pot with a removable strainer on the inside, okay? So the base for this uh, uh, clam bake is gonna consist of two cups of water, three cups of white dry wine, and Old Bay seasoning, about a half a, a container of a, a Old Bay seasoning. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that simmer and bring it to a boil. Once we bring that to a boil, we're gonna add the potatoes. Now, I've already done this to speed things up, so I've already added the potatoes. And once the potatoes cook for about 10 minutes, and the water starts to boil again, we're gonna add the kibasi, which we're gonna cut in pieces, the chorizo, the onions, which we're gonna quarter, and lots and lots of garlic, okay? So I've done that already, so come over and I'll show you what it looks like. So right now, everything is boiling. We have the potatoes, and we have the chorizo, we have the onions, we have the, the uh, kibasi, so all the stuff is boiling right now. So now, we're gonna layer the next thing which is the corn. I've cut the corn and quartered, and we're gonna add this to the mixture for about another six minutes. All right, so I've added the corn, and shortly it will be boiling again. Once that starts to boil, we're gonna squeeze in all this lemon and throw it into the mixture for flavor. After we do that, we're gonna add the clams. Here I have some little necks. I have about three dozens, already cleaned, and then we're gonna add the mussels. Then we're gonna add the lobster, along with the crab legs. And the last item that we're gonna add is the shrimp, because these cook very quickly, so they only take about three or four minutes to uh, steam. All right, so the corn uh, came to a boil, and now we're gonna add all these uh, lemons. We're gonna squeeze them and drop them in for flavor. Uh, along with the wine and the Old Bay seasoning, these lemons are gonna give this an unbelievable flavor. So we're gonna squeeze all this stuff in here, and we're gonna let this um, simmer for just a minute or so. Uh, and then after this, we're gonna add the clams. And the mussels, the lobster, and the uh, crab uh, legs. And then we'll have to add the shrimps in about 10 minutes. This is almost done. All right, so here are the clams. We're gonna add all these clams in here. We're gonna add the mussels. As you can see, the pot is filling up, right? We started with nothing in here, but slowly, we're layering this thing all the way to the top. All right? All right, we're gonna add the lobster, all the claws, the crab legs, as you can see, there's hardly any room for anything else other than the last item, which will be the shrimps. All right, so stay tuned, come back in 10 minutes, we'll add the shrimps, and this thing is almost done. All right, the last item, or the squids, the jumbo shrimps, we're gonna put these in here at the very top. We're gonna cook that for about 10 minutes, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this thing, shut it down, and let it simmer for another 15 minutes all by itself. And once we do that, we can take the strainer out of this uh, pot and take the whole mixture and dump it on a table filled with uh, plastic and newspapers. And then we eat it with our hands. Stay tuned. So the clam bake is finally cooked. The whole process took about 40 minutes from start to finish. Uh, typically we would do this out outdoors, but uh, the weather is not agreeing with us, so we're going to do it indoors. The bottom line is, I can smell all the flavors of all the seasonings, and at this point, all that's left to do is to grab the strainer, Pull this in the middle of the table. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your clam bake. 
It doesn't get any better than this. We have lobster, we have clams, we have crabs, shrimps, corn, kabasi, chorizo, you name it, it's all here. All right? So it's easy to make, enjoy it. Bon appetit, don't forget, a nice cold beer. All right? See you next time in Manuela's Kitchen.